12 weird animal hybrids. Number 12. Beefalo. A domestic rancher's dream, the beefalo is the hybrid of a cow and an American buffalo. You said what? These hybrids have the toughness of a bison, able to survive weather much harsher than an average cow ever could. And their meat was also found to be lower in cholesterol and fat content. True. This animal is marketed as a healthier meat alternative and may come to be a staple in our grocery stores one day. Number 11. Z-Donk The Z-Donk has been around for years. First mentioned by famous naturalist Charles Darwin, it is the result of a donkey and a zebra. What? Whoa, 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 dude, what? Wild zebras travel in enormous herds, and hybrids may result when they come in contact with individual or herds of donkeys. Z-Donks take the personality of a zebra and may even be spotted in wild zebra herds from time to time. In most cases, the father is a zebra and the mother is a wild donkey. Is that true? These animals tend to have striped bodies that are brown opposed to white and are also sterile, unable to produce any young of their own. In the wild, they are primarily found in South Africa, where populations of donkeys and zebras share an overlapping range. Number 10. Yakalo The yakalo is another cross of the American bison, this time with a yak. Whoa, dude, slow down. These animals originated in the 1920s, when the original hybridization experiments between the two breeds took place. It's like crazy. These two species do not come in contact with each other in the wild and are purely a man-made hybridization. These figures do not compute. The Yakalo have a low survival rate and were never common hybrids to find. Males are born infertile, making it impossible for breeders to create a sustainable population. While Yakalo who survived make good cattle, the difficulty breeding and keeping these animals healthy made them not worth the work. Number 9. Zorse Another zebroid combination, the Zorse, is an offspring of a zebra stallion and a horse mare. Like other zebroids, this animal is unable to reproduce and is rare to find in the wild. The Zorse has short, striped, coarse hair and a tufted mane along its neck. It is an extremely hardy animal, although rarely occurring in the wild, can successfully survive a harsh free-range environment. Zorses are pretty social animals that want to live in herds. Because of this, they can be found in both wild zebra and horse herds. Whoa, what? Dude. Zorses spend the majority of their lives grazing and can live to be over 30 years old. Oh, so they think they're tough. Number 8. Kama. A male camel and female llama may seem like a strange breeding pair. Oh, totally, man. But when an offspring between the two happens, it's called a comma. In fact, the size difference between the two animals makes it impossible for fertilization to occur naturally. So, these four-legged animals have to be created through artificial insemination. You're doing what? To who? In the where? Breeders hope to create an animal with the strength and stature of a camel, but the attitude of a friendly llama. Unfortunately for breeders, the exact opposite occurred. These animals have the cantankerous behavior of camels and are about llama size. Trying to reverse the sex of the hybrid species doesn't result in a successful mating. So the comma is the only possible middle ground between the two species. For now. Number 7. Savannah Cat The Savannah Cat is a cross between a domestic cat and a wild African serval. These cute felines have spots all over a tan body, built like a muscular common house cat. While these animals do make good house pets, they have a much more feisty attitude, hunting birds and mice even more than the average domestic cat. You go and get them varmints! Recently, they've been recognized as an official domestic cat breed, with breeding standards strictly adhering to creating a spotted cat and widening the species gene pool. Several other breeds of domestic cats have started to hybridize with these animals due to human efforts. First-generation Savannah Cat hybrids can weigh in at about 28 pounds. Whoa, dude! But second-generation hybrids are comparable to the domestic house cat in size. That's like a relief. That could get scary. Number 6. Koi Wolf Also called Wyote, the original hybridization species are unknown. 
While they are descended from the American coyote, their wolf genes are speculated to come from one of three American wolf species, red, gray, or eastern. Much larger than their coyote counterparts, they tend to show a mix of behaviors between their parent species. Oh, so it's a little bit of this and a little bit of that. The species is extremely smart, adapting to urban life easily. They thrive in both the wild and the outskirts of urban areas, learning to get food any way possible. Koi wolf pups tend to be much more wolf-like initially, but show increased coyote behavior traits as they mature. Is that possible? Number 5. Lepin A lepin is a hybrid offspring of a male leopard and a female lion. How'd you make one of them? These hybrids are made exclusively in captivity, as the two animals share little of the same natural range and do not come in contact with one another. Lepins have the head of a lion and the body of a leopard. Oh, dude! In fact, male lepins even have a mane like a lion, although it tops out at about 8 inches long. These animals are bred primarily in Japan and Italy, where they are popular with the public but criticized by the scientific community. They have spotted bodies like leopards, but their spots are brown, not black. That's a shame. Black spots go with everything. Their spots are also smaller and closer together in comparison to a leopard. These animals are larger than their leopard fathers, but tend to have their behavioral traits, enjoying climbing trees and swimming. Number 4. Wolfen A wolfen is an extremely rare hybrid between a female common bottlenose dolphin and a male false killer whale. While they have been reported to exist in the wild, reports are few and far between. Good, let's keep it that way. Wolfins are pretty much what you would expect from that animal crossing, being larger than a bottlenose and smaller than a false killer whale. Currently, only one known wolfin exists in the world at Sea Life Park in Hawaii. The captive wolfin, Kikea Malu, has successfully mated with another captive bottlenose and has three calves who are two-third bottlenose and one-third false killer whale. Wolfins exhibit behaviors common to both species but try to mate with bottlenose dolphins, explaining why populations of wolfins are unable to exist in the wild. Dude, so if it's like the other way around, do we call it a dale? Number 3. Liger One of the most popular known hybrids in the world, the liger, is the offspring between a male lion and a female tiger. <laughs> Meow. They are the largest living cat on the planet and can weigh upwards of 700 pounds. Oh man, that's like a tractor and a half! Female ligers have very low fertility rates, but can occasionally produce an offspring naturally with a purebred lion or tiger. Males, on the other hand, are completely infertile and are unable to sire children. These massive cats can be almost 12 feet when standing on their hind legs and consume roughly 20 pounds of meat a day to feed their voracious appetite. Oh, dude, ligers got the munchies. Number 2. Tigon the Tigon is a cross between a male tiger and a female lion. They are also called Tigrons and Tyons. Tigons are rather aggressive, even compared to their sister hybrid, the Liger. They also are quite fond of the water, swimming at any given opportunity. I bet they're cute. These giant cats are extremely prone to cancer and other illnesses and have a shorter lifespan than pure tigers or lions. Tigons are also rather small, often much smaller than their parents. Like me. Tigons are less popular in zoos and breeding programs due to their aggressive behavior. Yeah, because they're tough. And are also less likely to survive the birthing process, leading to them being a relatively rare hybrid to find, even in captivity. Scanning files for new Tigon numbers. No new numbers found. Number 1. Growler Bear This huge bear naturally occurs where grizzlies and polar bears come into contact. Due to climate change, polar bear habitat has been decimated and giving polar bears and grizzlies pretty frequent access to hybridize. Growler bears are huge and tend to act more like polar bears than grizzlies, although they are relatively poor swimmers. Unlike many hybrid species, growler bears are fertile and can reproduce in the wild. Ho <laughs> ho, we're doomed! It looks as though these enormous animals may actually become common in the future. As polar bears continue to move south, hybridization will happen more often and become a serious ecological concern in the near future. Which of these weird hybrids is your favorite? We'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more fun videos like this one. Thanks for watching. We should like be friends.